We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of St. Michael's College operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we're grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Veni Sancti Spiritus Reple Tuorum Corre Fidelium, et Tui Amoris in Eis Ignia Macende, Emiti Spiritum Tuum et Creabuntur, et Novabis Facium Terre, Oremus. Deus, qui Corre Fidelium Sancti Spiritus Illustrationi Docuisti, da nobis in eodem Spiritu Recte Sapere, et de eus semper Consolatione Gaudere, Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Sede Sapientiae, ora probis. Sancte Michael, ora probis. Sancte Toma, ora probis. Eminentissime et reverendissime Cancellari, presento tibi candidatos et gradus varios promovendos autonandos veris diplomidatibus vel certificationibus qui omnibus quae statutis exigunter per actus, gararum aut diploma vel certificationem meriti sunt. Placitit ne eminantiae tue, reverendissime. Hos candidatos promovere aut donare? Uticui mihi placet, Domini Precis. Eminent Chancellor Collins, Cardinal Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Toronto, Dr. Rose Patton, Chancellor of the University of Toronto, Professor John McLaughlin, Interim Dean of the St. Michael's Faculty of Theology, Dr. Mimi Morocco, Director Emerita of the St. Michael's Division of Continuing Studies, members of our faculty, Professor Cynthia Cameron and Reverend Darren Diaz, and Dr. Alexander Laschuk, Executive Director of the Metropolitan Andrei Sheptitsky Institute of Eastern Christian Studies. TST colleagues, family and friends, and most especially, graduates of the University of St. Michael's College. Welcome. My name is David Sylvester. It is my honor to serve as President and Vice Chancellor of the University of St. Michael's College and to welcome you to our ceremony here in historic St. Basil's Church. Since 1855, this very place has served as the heart and soul of our university. So it is most fitting that we gather today to acknowledge and to celebrate the students, faculty and staff of our Division of Continuing Studies and our Faculty of Theology. Je voudrais vous souhaiter un accueil très chaleureux pour ce rassemblement, pour cette célébration. Et même que vous n'êtes pas ici à ce moment, vous êtes vraiment parmi nous. Bienvenue à toutes et à tous. Once again, we gather in this space, as well as remotely, as we continue to navigate the many personal and institutional challenges presented by a global pandemic. As we have all demonstrated over the past year and a half, the bonds of this community are incredibly strong. St. Michael's is held together by the invisible ties of friendship, of deep mutual respect, by our common desire to come to know the truth and to put this knowledge, this wisdom, and this faith into the service of each other, of our families, of the church, and of our brothers and sisters around the globe. Today we gather to acknowledge and celebrate the singular accomplishments of each of you and the completion of your studies. Well done. I know you will spend some time thinking of all those who have helped you on this journey your family, friends, professors, and mentors. And I hope you will find time to continue the celebration with each other in person or virtually. It's a day worth marking. In that spirit of gratitude, I would like to take a moment to thank all those who have made this day possible, the staff and faculty who have labored many hours over the years and in recent days to prepare for these celebrations. Among the many hands across the university, I'd like to acknowledge Catherine Cooper and her team, Lori Morris, our Director of Communications, as well as the leads in the offices of the Dean of Theology and the President, 
Emil Irodiades, Diana Capuchito Adeo, Greg Rupik, and Christina Van Beek, and many others. And what's a celebration without music? So thank you to Dr. Jean-Paul Farahat and our musicians and choristers for be your beautiful contribution today. My graduation wish for this day is quite simple. In our opening prayer, we invited the Holy Spirit to kindle in our hearts the flame of God's true love and enduring wisdom. Veni Sancti Spiritus. Your academic labors that we celebrate here have not been undertaken and achieved simply in their own right. They have a greater purpose. As teachers and researchers, as pastoral ministers, and as professionals committed to empowering your workplaces as centers of social responsibility and justice, you have been called to work for the common good, and in fact, to help transform and renew the face of the earth. May you come to share in this work of the Spirit, to be a source of love, a seeker of truth and wisdom, and a champion of justice in your work and in the world. And may you find joy in this work. Again, on behalf of the Collegium of St. Michael's, our faculty, staff, alumni, and your fellow students, I extend to you our community's deepest congratulations for the accomplishments that are evident to all of us and for your many unseen accomplishments and for the important work ahead. As you go forward, you will have our prayers and all best wishes for success and happiness for you and your families. Well done. Félicitations. Most Reverend Chancellor, it is a privilege and a delight for me to present to you for the Doctorate of Divinity, honoris causa, Professor Gilles Routier. Father Routier, Professor Titulaire and Dean of the Faculty of Theology and Religious Sciences at Laval University, was confirmed to be granted an honorary degree by the University of St. Michael's College in 2020. But the COVID pandemic complicated its conferral. Today, the Senate of the University of St. Michael's College is delighted to formally recommend Father Routier to receive an honorary doctorate of divinity in absentia. We look forward to welcoming Father Routier to our next in-person convocation in order to honor him appropriately for this achievement. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873 to encourage academic excellence across the nation, is one of the most prestigious awards that can be received by a student in a Canadian educational institution. On behalf of Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Mary May Simon, Governor General of Canada, I am pleased to present the Governor General's Gold Medal in Theology to Jason Edwin Mills. The Doctor of Philosophy and Theology presupposes a baccalaureate degree and at least two years of coursework, competence in at least two research languages in addition to English, comprehensive examinations, and the preparation of a dissertation that advances human knowledge in a significant way. This degree prepares candidates to pursue research publication and teaching in universities, divinity schools, and seminaries. This year, 10 students are receiving this degree. Hyung Chin Cho of Emmanuel College. Dissertation, Eucharistic Preaching and the Recovery of Korean Cultural Features, Jeong, Heung, Meot, and Bob for the Korean Pulpit. Supervisor, Dr. Paul Wilson. Moon Jung Choi, Knox College. Dissertation, Pedagogy of the Conscientization, Empowering Agency in Korean-Canadian Christian Women. Supervisor, Dr. Nam Soon Song. Jonathan Andrew Clemens, Wycliffe College. Dissertation, Corporate Discipline, 
corporate grace, discerning the political implications of discipline for the church as the body of Christ. Supervisor, Dr. Joseph Mangina. Leonard Jared Finn, Wycliffe College. Dissertation, the words of Koheleth, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Ecclesiastes in context. Supervisor, Dr. Christopher Seitz. Caleb Don Gundlach, Wycliffe College. Dissertation, The Way to Zion in Isaiah 40 to 55, Beyond New Exodus or Metaphor. Supervisor, Dr. Christopher Seitz. Day Hee Kim, Knox College. Dissertation, The Soteriological Significance of Christ's Descent into Hell. A study of the doctrine of Christ's descent into hell based on reformed theology in Korean religious, historical, and cultural contexts. Supervisor, Dr. Charles Fensham. Yun Jung Kim, Emmanuel College. Dissertation, Toward Postcolonial Practice and Theology of Radical Hospitality in Canadian Diasporic Contexts. Transformative Relocation and Asian Migrant Women's Perspective. Supervisor, Dr. Thomas Reynolds. Suneyao Pal, Wycliffe College. Dissertation, Creation for Life or Death, a study in Lutheran trajectories of Gustav Wingrand and Oswald Bayer in the modern context. Supervisor, Dr. Ephraim Radner. Thomas Andrew Smith, Wycliffe College. Dissertation, Benjamin Morgan Palmer and the Disunion of Scripture. Supervisor, Dr. Marion Taylor and Dr. Ephraim Radner. Rachel Elizabeth Tullock, Wycliffe College. Dissertation, Street, Sacrament and Sanctuary, Discerning the Body of Christ in a Downtown Toronto Church. Supervisor, Dr. Joseph Mangina. The Master of Arts in Theology is a two-year program designed to foster graduate-level competence in several basic areas of theological study and to provide the opportunity for more advanced work in areas of particular interest. It presupposes a baccalaureate degree and requires 12 units of advanced study competence in one research language in addition to English, either ancient or modern, and a thesis. This year, one student is receiving this degree, Andrea Lauren Hugel. The Masters of Arts in Catholic Leadership is a graduate level degree designed to provide individuals with the skills necessary to lead Catholic social service, health care, and educational institutions in the province of Ontario. The curriculum requires 16 units of study organized around four areas, theology, leadership, area and free electives, and a final comprehensive practical component. This year, one student is receiving this degree Maria Thomas. The Certificate in Specialization in Theology and Ecology is offered through the faculty's Elliott Allen Institute for Theology and Ecology. It is achieved concurrently with students' degree program at the basic or advanced degree level. Interdisciplinary by design, it requires a minimum of seven specialized units of study. And this year, one student is receiving this certificate, Douglas Day Kaufman. The Certificate of Specialization in Eastern Christian Studies is a specialist certificate in the history, theology, and spirituality of Eastern Christianity. 
The certificate is earned in conjunction with one of the degree programs of the Faculty of Theology. It requires eight courses. This year, one student is receiving this certificate, Maria Drosos. The Diploma in Interfaith Dialogue introduces students to the beliefs and practices of other major religions that make up the demographics of the greater Toronto area, which reflect the major religions of the world generally, so that students can engage in meaningful dialogue with men and women of other religions. That exploration of other religions takes place from the perspective of the Catholic theological tradition. This year, nine students are receiving this diploma. Audrey Ferrer, Erica Gismondi, Marilyn Grace, Leanne Kloppenberg, Nicole Lim, Catherine Murtha, Daniel Niamat, Peter Notebloom, Elizabeth Ann Pickett. The Continuing Education Division was established in 1986 to provide opportunities for professional development for those engaged in specialized ministries of the church. In addition, it initiated a variety of certificate programs designed for those in positions of leadership in Catholic education, health care, and social services. In 2001, St. Michael's introduced a certificate in corporate social responsibility designed for the professional development of individuals in business, government, or the not-for-profit sector who have a demonstrated commitment to ensuring the sustainability of their organization, their community, and the planet. The first of its kind in Canada, this program has grown in both scope and academic rigor and has been granted the designation of Graduate Diploma in Social Responsibility and Sustainability by the Senate of the University of St. Michael's College. It is typically completed over a period of 13 months. During that time, candidates from across Canada and from around the world come together in class for a total of 11 days on three separate occasions. Between sessions, they participate in additional learning opportunities using the technology of the internet. They also complete a major project, which is subsequently presented not only in the classroom, but also in their workplace. This year, 39 candidates have successfully completed all the requirements. We celebrate their achievement and congratulate them, albeit once again this year from a distance. Nabil Ali, Bernadette Ariola, Jody Ann Baxter, Julie Branscombe, Kristen Brown, Marcel Thomas Berkler, Brett Clapperton, Diana de la Cruz Ramirez, Joseph Durr, Patricia Elizabeth Echegoyan, Linda Marie Feeney, Kaylee Jacqueline Fisher, Stephanie Gail Fox, Chris Garrard, Kate Gardner, Sarah Gelgor, Erica Chan Gluck, Jacqueline Kim Gorman, Sassi Goravarum, Charlotte Harmon, Angela Hart, Gillian Henry, Andrew Hoskins, Catherine Josick, Lynn Marie Keyes, Colleen Keelty, Justine Kim, Dominic Legault, Roshni Matthews, Jennifer McMahon, Kenneth Uchenna Obiakor, Trang Fan, Rosanna Rampersode, Adele Ratanzi, Laura M. Reinholtz, Sarah Riley, Farah Rooney, Kate Mary Tishenko, Chowdhury Adnan Zanan.
long-standing relationship between the University of Toronto and the University of St. Michael's College is of immense value and a real treasure in the life of our community. We're very honored to have with us uh, this afternoon Dr. Rose Patton, Chancellor of the University of Toronto. And I now invite Chancellor Patton to address convocation. Eminent Chancellor, President Sylvester, leaders, members, and friends of the St. Michael's community. I'm very pleased to join in this year's convocation of the University of St. Michael's College. And I'm delighted to extend congratulations to the class of 2021 on behalf of the University of Toronto. Our shared institutional history is rooted in a tradition extending well beyond the relationships between U of T, St. Michael's, and Toronto School of Theology. In fact, the modern university is one of the crucial institutions that originated in the Middle Ages. Let us not forget that many of those institutions, for example, the great universities of Oxford, Cambridge, and Paris, originally focused on the study of theology, then deemed the queen of the sciences. As we see here today, the study of theology endures and is thriving. I'm honored to help celebrate the work of St. Michael's in advancing the key discipline in the context of our modern world. Your contribution is valuable, not only to the church, but also to the University of Toronto and to society as a whole. I would like to note one other tradition being honored in this ceremony. Many of today's graduates are receiving conjoint degrees. You now have the privilege of claiming membership in the alumni of both St. Michael's and the University of Toronto. This will provide a dual source of pride as you look back on this wonderful milestone in your lives. But of course, to everyone graduating, congratulations on reaching this day and on the years of hard work and perseverance that it represents. I wish you success and happiness in those next chapters of your lives. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. The Doctor of Philosophy and Theological Studies presupposes a baccalaureate degree and at least one prior degree in theology. It requires eight units of advanced study, competence in at least two research languages in addition to English, general examinations, and the preparation of a dissertation that advances human knowledge in a significant way. This degree prepares candidates to pursue research, publication, and teaching in universities, divinity schools, and seminaries. This year, two students are receiving this degree. Jason Edwin Mills, Dissertation in Vitro Education, Examining the Virtual Culture of Online Pastoral Education. Supervisor, Dr. Douglas Blomberg. Brian Arthur Thornton, Dissertation, From Rome to Home, Reception of the Second Vatican Council through the Second Synod of the Diocese of London in Canada. Supervisor, Dr. Michael Attridge. The Master of Arts in Theological Studies is a one-year program designed to foster graduate-level knowledge of theological studies in general and more focused skills in an area of specialization. It presupposes a baccalaureate degree and requires either six units of advanced study, reading ability in any relevant languages, and a master's research paper, or else eight units of advanced study. It prepares students for further graduate study and theologically informed ministries. This year, two students are receiving this degree. Michael Oresti Paloto, Jordan James Edward Tower. The Master of Divinity is a graduate level professional degree that prepares individuals for positions in responsible church leadership. 
It requires a minimum of 30 units of study in sacred scripture, church history, systematic theology, pastoral theology, and supervised theological field education. Graduates typically serve as chaplains, pastors, parish educators, and ministers. This year, four students are receiving this degree. Maria Drosos, Samuel Ojefo Ejeregbe, Emma Kennedy Graham, Natalie Waite. The Master of Religious Education is a graduate level degree that prepares individuals for various forms of ministry in Christian educational settings, such as schools, parishes, diocesan centers, and missions, to name but a few. The degree requires study in scripture, systematic theology, supervised field-based learning, and religious education. This year, three students are receiving this degree. Calvin T. Hattel, Nikita D'Souza, Andrew Sean Nathan Selvam. The Master of Theological Studies is a graduate level degree designed to strengthen the religious basis of an individual's life and work, whether in a secular or church related career. It requires 20 units of study organized around three areas foundational courses, in depth courses, and elective courses with the possibility of specialization in a particular area of theology. This year, three students are receiving this degree. Mabel Vanita Andrade, Sarah Natalie Kuczynski, Lisa Radice Santos. Eminentissime et reverendissime cancellari. Presento tibi, Emil Erodiades, Registrarium Huis Facitatus, Ut pro candidatus ad varios gradus in theologia admitandis qui absunt. I am tamen nominati, illos gradus accipiat. Admitu te in gradum in omni patris et fili et spiritus sancti. Beauty, truth, and goodness, these are the three great transcendentals that light our way through this valley of tears and through the fog of this world on our way home to the new Jerusalem. Beauty, truth, and goodness. These are also what is the very heart of the university, since from the heart of the church it came forth so many years ago, that we might appreciate the beauty of God, the truth, and the goodness, which ultimately are our great gift in this world as we journey towards him. The beauty of nature, which we value and treasure, and which is at the very heart of university education from the earliest times. The beauty and the truth, which lead us to see what is out there in this world. We need to navigate a world which is very often dangerous, troubling, confusing. It's not enough to have my truth or your truth they don't lead us anywhere. We need to know the truth of what is there in front of us, the hard reality of life. Once we see that and understand what is truly there, then we can move forward in life. And that is why universities were created to help us to see through the fog, see through the confusion, to not only appreciate the beauty of God's creation, but to see the truth of what is really there in the world outside of us, and to see what is truly there within our own hearts. And in both ways to come to see the objective reality of the Lord God. But beauty and truth are not enough in themselves. They must always lead to goodness, to a life in which we act on what we understand. And that's why the great teacher and leader of education, Mary Ward, the founder of the Loretto sisters who have been so important 
in the life of the University of St. Michael's College. She said in her maxims, do good, do it well. Virtue's hard only if you hold it so. It is that do good to make a difference in this world that is the fruit of a university education that is not merely from the neck up, a mere palace of abstraction, but is something fruitful and real, reason that it leads us to the presence of God by the glory of his grace amongst us. Reason and faith, these are the two wings which St. John Paul II says, allow us to fly through this world on our way home to God. And for that, we give thanks for beauty, truth, and goodness, which have been experienced here in the University of St. Michael's College by all of you who are graduating today. It is something for which you may indeed give thanks on this most beautiful day. And it is those great transcendentals which will guide you home in the years that lie ahead. For our life is a journey, sometimes long, sometimes short. And we are in that way guided to where we are going, to the destination, which is ultimately the home of our Heavenly Father. If we know where we're going, we are more likely to get there. And part of the purpose of a university education founded in the tradition that comes from the heart of the church, like the University of St. Michael's College, and indeed, ultimately, all universities, is that we might appreciate the beauty, see the truth, and live the goodness, which are the great transcendentals that guide us through this valley of tears on our way home. May the Lord bless and guide you in your lives as you leave this place. You move forward in many different pathways, but all of them pathways leading homeward to the heavenly Jerusalem, our true home. May the Lord bless you abundantly on that journey. Oremus. Sumi Regis Archangeli Michael intende quesimus nostris vocibus. Te damque profitemur esse supernorum principum civium. Te deum genere homo orante diriguntur angeli. Ne laidare nemici quantum cupiunt, versuti fesso sum qua mortalis praeveliant. Idem tenes perpetui potentiam paradise, semper te sancti honorant angeli. Audinos, Michael, angeli sume, huc parum descende de polisede, Nobis forendo opim domini, lavamen atque indulgentiae. Amen.
convocatio de misa est. <laughs>